If you sell digital products or courses, you probably are going to need to create mock-ups to use for your marketing, for things like marketing graphics and on your website and things like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create mock-ups confidently in Canva because there's a few different ways we can do it and I'll show you a few different tips and tricks. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating mock-ups in Canva. So that's when you've got some sort of design. So it could be showing off a PDF, it could be showing off a website, it could be a print that's on a mug or a t-shirt, when you want to create a mock-up of that thing. So it's something you've just got digital, so you want to sort of make it look a bit more real to really help with selling it because we're trying to make it feel more tangible. Tangible. So first of all, if we've just got a PDF, what we can do to just make it look like it's a piece of paper rather than just really flat is we can go to edit photo and we can go to shadows and this is where we can add a drop shadow to it. So you can go to drop. Now you can change the intensity, the amount of blur and the angle of it if you want and also the distance. You can also change the color if for some reason you want it to look slightly different. So you want to just adjust it to you're happy with it. Now, as you can see within that purple frame, it shrinks it down when it adds a drop shadow. So if you had put it in position on your page and then added your drop shadow, you may need to resize it. So then it's now the right size. You can also put it on an angle. So if you have several pages, so if you had like an inside page behind it, As you can see, when you're adding that shadow, it can start to look really dynamic because it feels like there's several pages there and they're all sitting on top of each other. So just using that simple drop shadow can really bring something to life in a simple way. So then we have putting things in a device. So there are a lot of different ways we can do this and we're gonna look at them all. But you might have gone into Elements and you found the perfect frame that you want to put it in. So you may have found this iPad frame, but it's not a frame as in a Canva one where you can just simply drop your image in. So how do you utilize this? So for this one, it sits on top because it's a frame with nothing inside. So we can adjust the sizing of it. But as you can see, it's a bit off. It's not perfect. So what we want to do is adjust the image underneath. So you've got two options. You can either just simply put this underneath and resize it. So pulling it bigger so it sits in there. Now, if you have issues where it's poking out the side, see if we just moved it over like that, if you, when you resize it, you've got a bit poking out. What you can do is select the thing that you're using and go to, go to border style here and round the corner on it. That way now when you put it over the top, there's no issues with little edges poking out the side. Now, if you've got one here like this where it's not cut out and you just want to stick something on top, we can go layer to front, put it on top. And you want to basically just move it around and adjust the sizing to get it sitting in position on top. So you're sort of cropping the corners, moving it around. You can double click to see the thing inside to move it in position. Think about the cropping, what bits you want cropped or not cropped on it. And again, we've got that rounding corner so we can either have it flat or we can round it slightly so it looks as if it's sitting inside. So that's how you'd work with one where you just have to put something on top because it isn't cut out and it isn't a frame. So then we have actual frame ones. So if we go into elements and frames and see all, you'll see here in a device section. So we've also got some film and photo ones if you want it to look like it's on a photo. But the main one you'll probably be using for mockups is devices. So we've got a variety of different device ones here, things like watches and computers and iPads and phones all those sort of things and they're very simple. So all you need to do is put them on the page, grab your design and just plonk it in. Now, if you want to reposition it, you double click and then you can reposition it to where you want it to go, resize it, get the positioning just right and there it is on the device. So that's a really, really easy one. Now, if you want to add a little bit of shadowing to it, maybe you like this, but you're like, I want it to feel like it's got a little shadow. You can always come to elements and type in shadow Grab a little shadow element, position it, send to back, and then we've added a bit of shadow. So if something you really love doesn't have a shadow, you can just go grab a shadow element and add it to it like that. Now, there are also some other hidden mockups within Canva. So if we go over here to apps and we search mockup, I've got this one here, mockups. And there's all these extra ones that you didn't see in the main frame section in Canva. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of different ones in here. We've got things like mugs and we've got some that look like they're on photo backgrounds rather than just plain. 
got all these watches and t-shirts. So if you're doing apparel, things like that, where you're doing like print on demand type stuff, you've got all these mock-ups that you can utilize. So we've got ones here like this mug and we can put our design on that way. So if we go to uploads and if we put our penguin ice cream man in there and it places it on that mock-up. So that's another source. And there is one more source for mock-ups, which I'm going to now show you. So if you go back to home and you want to get up this menu here, so you click on those three lines there and you go to apps and you'll see over here, we've got mock-ups. And as you can see, this brings up even more mock-ups for us. So we've got all these cool ones here where it's got like a photo. So you could have things like this where look, once you go in there, there's so many of them hidden away. So if you really get exploring on Canva, you'll find there's a lot of choice when it comes to mock-ups. You just need to start digging around to look for what you want. So if you're doing things like selling posters, mugs, there's just so many different ones here. And you've also got the search menu here in mock-up. So if you're looking for something particular, so if we're looking for a mug mock-up here, we can search for it. And it's going to show us all these different ones. And as you can see, there's quite a few different ones in here. And so there's lots and lots you can explore through to find just what's going to be right for you that you want to utilize. So if we want to one like this packaging one, so if you're happy to use that, press select. You can then choose the image that you want to place on it. So let's say we wanted this one, select and click adjust image. And that way we can move it around in that mock-up to get it just positioned just right. Then save mock-up. And then you can use, use in design. You can choose which kind of design you want to use it on. And there it is. There's our mock-up design there. So that's another fun way. And as you can see, it's importing it as an image in this one. So you need to make sure you do all the editing of getting the mock-up just right in that mock-ups panel. And then when you bring it in as a design, you've now got that photo and you can place it on your page and add whatever else you need to add to it. So that's how you create mock-ups in Canva. Now, if you want extra help creating marketing graphics for your digital products and courses, you can check out my templates. You'll find the link in the description below. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you'd like to learn more about using Canva, graphic design and branding, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.